months ago, we had the tiger mom, Amy Chua, on this show. She's the one who said that you should just have a few children, but pour all your energy that you have into making them as good as they possibly can be. But the new book, Selfish Reasons to Have More Kids, claims that is a recipe for disaster. Instead, you should have a bunch of kids, as many as you possibly can, and let them raise themselves. Author Brian Kaplan joins me now for a very interesting discussion on that. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. All right, so what did you base this book on? You did a lot of research, and what did you find? Well, uh, there's a very large literature on kids who are adopted and twins. And you can actually use, the, you know, you can, you know, using these studies, you can actually measure how much of a difference do parents make on how kids turn out. Like if you're adopted, uh, well, by, adopted by a rich family, for example, do you wind up making more income than if you're ad adopted by a poorer family? And the surprising result is that for most outcomes, the family that raises you doesn't really change you that much in the long run. I mean, really, what parents, what the effect that parents have on their kids is not on the kind of adult they become, but on the on the quality of the relationship, how the child feels about you, how they perceive you, how they remember you, right? So I say parents really should focus more on enjoying their time with their children, and a lot less on treating them like a science project and changing them into something that they don't want to be. All right, so there's a lot of parents watching right now. I'm a parent myself, and, and they're scratching mm -hmm. their heads saying, but wait a minute, we, we, we have to have an impact on our children. I mean, you know, when somebody asks me what's the most important thing in your life, I say, my children, and making sure that I raise them correctly. What you're saying is that they already come hardwired, and whatever I do doesn't make any difference? It definitely makes a difference in the short run. So if you let your kid run around and hit people, uh, your child is kind of is pretty likely to hit people. <laughs> but... The reason to discipline your child isn't to prevent him from becoming a criminal when he's an adult. You don't really have much control over that. Fortunately, it's unlikely to happen. What, you, what you're able to affect is how the child treats people right now, and that's what you should focus on. And, I th and you know, my main point is that parents really should try to enjoy the journey. Right? You know, focus on enjoying your time with your kids, doing things that you like doing together. You know, show your kid about the, you know, teach your kid child about the wonder of life and realize that the kind of adult that your child becomes is largely out of your hands. Yeah, but so one of the things you advocate is having as many kids as possible. So let's say, you know, some parents say, well, we can barely manage our, our two children and do the best job that we feel that we can do. And you're saying, have as many kids as you want, and basically they just raise themselves. What do you mean by that? Right, so I don't quite say that people should have as many kids as possible. What I do say is that people should have more kids than they're currently having. Because right now, parents are making parenting into this unpleasant chore. So you know, it's only natural that right now people are nervous to have more kids because they are not making it very fun. Uh, there was a really interesting piece a couple weeks ago about soccer as contraception, right? Where there were some people already at two kids, two different soccer leagues, they're already exhausted. They're worried about <laughs> having a third kid because, you know, like we're going to have a third soccer league, a third set of games, a third set of practices. You can throw hockey say, in there, like, too. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, what I say is, look, you know, if, you, if you enjoy taking your kids to soccer, they like <laughs> soccer, great. but. Uh, you don't have to beat yourself up if you say, look, I, you know, I don't really enjoy that much and the kid isn't that, that enthusiastic about it either. Why don't we stay home and watch The Simpsons or read a book or play a game or something else that we'd enjoy doing more? All right. So I'm getting a little bit more out of your book here. Than, you're not really just saying, you know, parents be laissez-faire. You're saying smell the roses a little bit and don't set up your kids for all of these different activities because it may not make that much of a difference. Is that correct? Oh, that's right. So just you realize that your influence over your child is much more limited than you think, mm -hmm. right? And that the, the thing that really matters is the quality of the relationship. So I mean, a really good way of thinking about it is you might say, so do you change your spouse? Changing your spouse is really hard, and people get married <laughs> thinking they're going to change the other person. Generally, you are quite disappointed. Yep. You know, what you need, what you should right. focus on with you, yeah, yeah. So you know, treat, you know, treat, you think about your child the same way. You know, the child's All a person, right. and uh, enjoy the enjoy the journey. So you have theories on marriage and children. I like it. Uh, Brian <laughs> Kaplan, check out his book, Selfish Reasons to Have More Kids. Very interesting discussion. Thanks.